up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off of the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, it's about using his weight to keep you there. Great hips as well. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected, shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. for this heavyweight fight. More than five years apart. Some differences in height and reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Lovey. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Kabul, Afghanistan. Monster! And now we produce his opponent. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 235 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, Assassin! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. All right, here we go. Caught him with a punch. Opens up with a front kick. Oh, he's down. Good body punch there. How about that chin? Oh, huge inside leg kick, Joe. Working on a single leg here. Very good sign here early as he gets the takedown in round one. Postures up. Good defense here on the ground. He's got that one arm trapped. 
Nice sweep right into half guard. Trying to pass here into side control. Can't make it. Beautifully executed sweep. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. That punch will work right through the guard. Trying to take the back here. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's inside control here. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Full guard. Trying to pass here. Very nice sweep. Winds up in his guard. He postures into place. In the full guard here. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the block. He's looking to take the back. Side control. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that kick. Oh. Kick to the head, he's hurt, he's stunned. This could be it. Body kick, look at that. Tags him. Oh, very nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just over two minutes now to go. He's got a clinch. Oh, that's a near perfect knee, Joe. Nice knees. He's got the over under here. Good shot from the clinch. Works the double underhooks here. reversal well just because you're on your back doesn't mean you can't throw off that staying busy here you'd like to see that Joe He's trying to spin to the back he's inside control here he's trying to pass here underhook here got double underhooks Boy, time's wrong. Back to over under control. The battle for hooks continues. He's got double under hooks now. So step over, full mount now. He's posturing up here. Ooh. Nasty elbow lands to the head. Oh, big shot from the top. That's, that's, that's going to do it. He landed a huge barrage of strikes all night long and finally got the TKO. Well, Joe, you'll never hear me complain about an early stoppage, only the late ones, and I thought this was really a perfect job by the referee. The offensive fighter was at his aggressive best. He was continuing to inflict damage, and once the defensive fighter stopped intelligently covering up and preventing damage, if you're the referee, you got to stop the fight, and that's exactly what he did. We can see it here on a different angle. There are some big shots getting through here. Vicious ground and pound combination that leads to the TKO. So a massive TKO win for him here tonight. He put it all together, near perfect execution, and he gets one of the bigger wins of his UFC career. While we set it inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 32 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO Hudson. Well, if that effort doesn't produce some bonus money, I don't know what to tell you. A huge TKO victory for this fighter here tonight. Kept the judges out of it. 
really, I think, exceeded people's expectations in a lot of respects. So you can see how happy he is here celebrating with his coaches and his teammates. A monumental result here tonight under the bright lights of the U.